Netball fitness is very sport specific. Quick, sharp movements, catch the ball while you in a speed motion. It's endurance, but also more position specific. Put your hands in the sky so I can see you. Ladies, put your hands in the sky, raise them up. Because it's such a fast-paced sport, um, so it places a lot of um, effect on the body. And then you have to be evasive, you have to be able to jump. You have to be able to work with speed, but then also be able to stop your feet so that you don't get blown for a stepping error. We are a unit unstoppable. We are a unit of choice. We are a unit that's powerful. Nothing can stop. For mobility, it's always important to incorporate that into your warm-ups, whether it's in the gym that you're doing a gym training session or either on court. So typically you will do jumps and landing is also very important in netball because sometimes it's one of the major risks for injury for netball is because most of the times they always land on a player's foot. So we usually try to land on unstable surfaces for them to be able to have stability on their ankles um, in an unstable surface as well. Knee alignment, ankle alignment when you jump and when you land is also very important and also if you get depth in your jump then most likely you'll, because your muscles work according to a stretching and a shortening cycle. So according to that if you stretch your muscle then you, your muscle will be able to shorten a lot to be able to be explosive. You can build the speed up according to either against resistance or with um, they call it an assisted sprint, so where there's something helping you. So that you do it also against the band, but then the band is actually pulling you closer instead of you pu pushing against the band. So you can do that in a gym setup, but it's also very important to do it on a court where you can um, do speed training there, where there's a lot of rest also um, that should be um, accompanied by a sprint setup. When you look at netball, you look at um, speed, but not only on uh, through our feet, we want the speed through the ball as well. So upper body strength is a huge thing. And even small things that's really overlooked sometimes is your visual um, training as well. Even if you're a defender, even if you're an, an attacker, vision is one of the most important aspects. And it's sometimes something that is left behind. I think if people speak about conditioning, I think they speak most about um, endurance, so you get aerobic endurance and anaerobic endurance and for a netballer you definitely need that to be able to um, maintain that intensity throughout a full match because you play four quarters of 15 minutes each so a player can't say but after two quarters no they're fatigued so they should be able to maintain their intensity that they have and the netball intensity that is required of them for a full match of an hour. That's what I like about fitness of netball. It's, it's not boring. It, it, there's always something that you have to, to improve on. If you improve your strength, you need to improve your, your, um, your running fitness as well. When you do conditioning on court, you still need to make sure that you're in the gym, still building that strength. Because let's be honest, netball is, is a contact sport, although <laughs> you get penalized for it. But if the game plan is to be on the person. It feels like you're playing rugby because there's always that person next to you and it's so tiring if you don't practice the way that we are playing and nowadays there's so many aspects of the fitness that you need to work on and keep on improving and also uh, maintaining that. Recovery is very important and most of the times the players and athletes uh, are very lazy to do recovery by themselves afterwards. That's why we schedule sessions for them. When you train, train with quality but then also know how important it is to rest. So it's not just the amount of hours you put in for training and work but it's the, the recovery and resting is just, it's part of that plan. One of the most important aspects also for recovery is sleep. So people don't always realize that, but sleep is a massive um, important component for recovery.